How you doing, Anthony Ferraro here of Crate Sci-Fi. Welcome to the final video in this mini series of comping a spaceship practically uh, into a sci-fi project. So uh, as we started, we built this spaceship. <laughs> in the last video, we uh, shot it against a green screen with some fish in line and just one light. Um, probably should have used two. Uh, I'll get into that later. And uh, today we're gonna go ahead and comp that into a sequence. So, um, you know, this was a proof of concept. I have never done this before, but I was uh, aware of how people do this. So uh, it was fun to go through this with you and just sort of uh, do it myself. Um, you know, the main thing I probably would have done is um, lit better. Um, I used one light, I, I probably should have used two lights. But again, you know, um, the idea was to just sort of uh, barrel through this. Um, hopefully that doesn't horrify anybody. But the idea is, you know, action begets action. So now we know how this works and we refine it, right? You just keep getting better. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the comping process with you. So let's take a look. All right, let's get started. First thing we go to Google and type in Starfield. And then in the tools, you just wanna make sure you get a large image. So we're gonna need this as our back plate. I'm sure you can find something on Google. So now we bring that into our Premiere project. And now we're gonna import that footage that we created in the last video. This is not how to set up a Premiere project tutorial. I have those, I'll link to them below. We're just gonna to get to work on the comping. So now I bring in the footage and what I'm going to do first is create a mask. Um, you go into the opacity tool and I'm just going to create a basic mask around the uh, perimeter of the uh, ship. And there's this great tool now where you just play it and it'll play frames forward and backwards and it automatically tracks it. And usually you can get away with that. Now, if that doesn't work, uh, try that first because that'll take a few seconds. If not, then you're just gonna have to go frame by frame, adjust your mat. Just as long as you set it, your first keyframe, it'll continue to set keyframes. And you just wanna go frame by frame. And you know, these things are short, so it should go pretty quick and it's on a green screen. All right, so now we have our plate working. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the ultra key. In Premiere, it's the ultra key, and that's where we're gonna key out our green. You take the eyedropper and you take a sample, and now when you put the composite to the alpha channel, you'll see now I'm paying for being uh, impatient and I have this shadow. Um, uh, as somebody commented, uh, I should have lit the screen as well as the ship. So now, you know, you adjust the transparency, the highlight and shadow, the pedestal is pretty powerful and the choke and soften, you gotta be careful with, but that'll just help to clean up the edges a little bit. And basically you wanna just make sure that you have a solid white and a solid black, or as close to that as you can get. So now what I do is I create a, a yellow mat and I throw that underneath. This is just a tool to, that I use to, to very clearly call out any problems that I have. And the shadow is clearly gonna be a problem. So now, because I didn't take the time to light properly, I'm going to have to redo the mask and it's going to be a tighter mask and I'm just going to mask out that shadow. And, you know, this works fine. Um, it would have been better to light it properly, but you know, this was a proof of concept. I did it quickly and that's fine. So now I rinse and repeat and do this to all the other clips in the sequence. And that, you know, that's already looking fun, you know? So uh, you're like, okay, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna add that star field. So grab that star field. We're gonna lay that in. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take the blade tool and we're just gonna cut it so we have a section underneath each shot. So that way we can uh, adjust the background to match what is supposedly the camera angle of the shot that we have. So for this first one, I'm going to uh, scale up the stars a little, and I'm just gonna do one keyframe on all these. I'm just gonna do a slight movement to help sell that this ship is traveling through space. So I'm just making that a little bigger and a little smaller. This one I'm just moving to the left and to the right a little. And I do that for the rest of them. And then you see just that little bit of star movement just helps to sell the whole effect. Very simple. Now I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Just right click in the project bin and click adjustment layer. 
And now I'm gonna add a lens flare, just again, to give this thing a little more life. This is the stock lens flare that, that comes equipped in Premiere. And you're just gonna drop that in, select from one of the three. And again, just one or two keyframes. Position that where it looks good to you, set a keyframe, and then at the end of the clip, just slightly move it. So now for the other clips, you know, we're just gonna move it overhead to the side, we're just gonna export that. You could continue to build the adjustment layers, but I like to export just so it doesn't bog down my machine. We bring that back in and we're gonna add another adjustment layer. We're going to add a color tool. So you go to the Lumera Tree color tool in Premiere, and this is just gonna help unify all this work we did. I'm gonna go with like an ice blue for this. There's many, many choices. Just pick one um, that works for you. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of noise and it also helps to soften those edges. And then now in another tutorial, I went over these handheld uh, filters. I'll put a link below. I go into more detail about how to get those handheld presets. Sets. There's the comp, I'm liking that. So the only thing left to do now is to add the sound effects. You can go to this great uh, site, Free Sounds, and just find some spaceship sounds. Um, you know, it's dealer's choice, whatever you like. And here's the final comp. That was a lot of fun. And the most important thing for me is now I have experience with that and I've done it. And it's just gonna add to my knowledge and it's gonna help inform when I do things digitally. Um, as far as the look of it, if I was doing a, a comedic sci-fi piece, this is exactly what I would use. This is perfect for that. Um, with my more dramatic sci-fi, like Erringer, the short that I just did, um, that I would stick with 3D. Um, but this was a lot of fun. And I think, you know, I can certainly get better at this. <laughs> well, I hope you found this video useful. If you've not watched the previous two, I'll have links uh, above and below. So go check out how we put together this ship from the dollar store. This was like five bucks. Um, shot it very simply, we shot it on the phone. And um, you just saw the comp. All right. Well, as always, I hope you found that video useful. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to read the comments and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>